The Village Bully from Ghost Stories of Chapel Lizard by Joseph Sheridan Lefanu. About 30 years ago, there lived in the town of Chapel Lizard an ill-conditioned fellow of Herculean strength, well known throughout the neighborhood by the title of Bully Larkin. In addition to his remarkable physical superiority, this fellow had acquired a degree of skill as a pugilist which alone would have made him formidable. As it was, he was the autocrat of the village and carried not the scepter in vain. Conscious of his superiority and perfectly secure of impunity, he lorded it over his fellows in a spirit of cowardly and brutal insolence which made him hated even more profoundly than he was feared. Bully Larkin's pluck had never been fairly tried, for owing to his prodigious superiority in weight, strength and skill, his victories had always been certain and easy. And in proportion to the facility with which he uniformly smashed an antagonist, his pugnacity and insolence were inflamed. He thus became an odious nuisance in the neighborhood and the terror of every mother who had a son and of every wife who had a husband who possessed a spirit to resent insult or the smallest confidence in his own pugilistic capabilities. Now it happened that there was a young fellow named Ned Moran, better known by the sobriquet of Long Ned from his slender, lathy proportions, at that time living in the town. He was, in truth, a mere lad, 19 years of age and fully 12 years younger than the stalwart bully. This, however, secured for him no exemption from the dastardly provocations of the ill-conditioned pugilist. Long Ned, in an evil hour, had thrown eyes of affection upon a certain buxom damsel, who, notwithstanding Bully Larkin's amorous rivalry, inclined to reciprocate them. Bully Larkin challenged the heroic youth, whose pretty face he had privately consigned to the mangling and bloody discipline he was himself so capable of administering. The quarrel, which he had himself contrived to get up, to a certain degree covered the ill blood and malignant premeditation which inspired his proceedings. And Long Ned, being full of generous ire and whiskey punch, accepted the gauge of battle on the instant. The whole party, accompanied by a mob of idle men and boys, and in short, by all who could snatch a moment from the calls of business, proceeded in slow procession through the old gate into the Phoenix Park, and mounting the hill overlooking the town, selected near its summit a level spot on which to decide the quarrel.